you also do take note on the other side of the uh, egg chamber is a large o underwater opening, which is they note is where the dragon usually comes and goes. Um. I think we should send a message to the free city and let them know so they don't come to the marshland in the, um, in the meantime and alert them that the lizard folk are going to come back to negotiate with them. Um, but I also think we should, and I want to put the eggs somewhere safe, but also I think we should find out where that water passage leads. Were we just through the water passage? Uh, they noted it's a long tunnel that um, leads out into the swamp somewhere where the dragon could come and go into their lair more easily than... Because the dragon can't fit through here. Fit. So that was well, made as an entrance. Right now, right now we still have the... Um... Egg. No, no. Um... water breathing spell on us, so um, we you should... To, you want to go through that tunnel? Well, how long does it take to get to the free city and back? Days. Yeah, okay. I, Paul, I cannot hear a single thing you're saying. I... Well, we can just go to the fort and have them send the courier to the free city. Yeah, I look Walk all the way to the main city. Who's? I was saying free city, referring to the fort. Um, I'm sorry. Who? Who are they saying is expanding into their land? The free city, or the fort, or both? The free city. The fort is made by the free city. Okay, and the fort is what's in their land, or the people of the fort are going on to their land. Do you the mean? fort. The fort is made at the edge of the swamp, but the free city and the past have made attempts to expand into the swamp. I don't remember the reasons why. Uh, I think they might okay. have wanted to clear it or something, but I don't know have the exact details. Um, on me. Well, let's send a me well, let's send does it take to go to the fort and back? A day. You are deep in the swamp. What? You are deep in the swamp. It'll take around a day. We need to go back there anyway. Yeah, you Bring that have, to Yeah, you have... Th uh, It'll take it. Yeah. You said it would take an entire day to get there and back? Yeah, but they do... Uh, it, since it is late at night, the lizard folks say you can rest here for the night. And leave in the morning. Um, Alright. Uh, I'm going to... I think we should take them up on that, but first, let's see where the water tunnel leads so we can just go straight to the um, spot in the uh, swamp next time instead of having to go through the tunnel. It just leads to an open-ended swamp. Wait, so we... That's what they tell you. It just leads to an open area of the swamp. Justin... Yeah, I, I'm saying let's go through the tunnel while the underwater spell is on us and just see where in the swamp it leads to so we can we can just go through the swamp and get there next time and then go from there to well, find the dragon. Can, I mean, I guess it's fine. You can just recast it because we need to bring the got prisoners back with us as well. Yeah. Well, they're saying they're suggesting we stay here for the night. I'm saying let's go through the tunnel. Let's stay here for the night, but before we go to bed, let's go through the tunnel, see where the tunnel comes out in the swamp. Then go back to the, the lizard men, go to sleep, and then go to the fort the next day, drop off the prisoner, the egg, and then we'll just go right from there to the swamp where we where the tunnel comes out, and then continue from there to try and find the dragon. Uh oh, you're trying to find the dragon? They do make no, yeah. do know the dragon has not been back in a very long time. There How long is that? Like weeks? A month. Months. months. I still think we should see where that tunnel comes out so we have an idea where to go from here. Okay. But I don't want to continue past the edge of the tunnel. I just want to see where it comes out and then go. 
back, rest, when and then the next day go back to the fort. About 200 feet before you reach the end, and you come out to the middle of nowhere, in the middle of a swamp. Okay. With um, no conceivable landmarks anywhere around you. Oh, damn. We're gonna we're gonna have to go back the old last way so we can know how to backtrack. You do see the layer about 200, 300 feet away though. But it's difficult to know. The dragon slayer? No, this layer you're currently in. The other place we came in at. This place. Oh. The place you're currently um, at. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so. so it, that, we can use that as a landmark. If we can see the tunnel opening, then we know where it comes out we're in 200 feet. You cannot see it without a proper search check. Um, well, that's what I'll do is surface, see what's around, and then just just see. I, I don't want to mark the exact entrance to it. I just want to know where it comes out around in the marsh so we know where to proceed from next time. Okay. So, Perception. And I got a crit, so it's 32. Uh, what are you trying to search for? I mean, spot? Just to, f to see the other entrance so we know around where to... Pers so, like, we know around generally where the thing comes out in the swamp. You see the lair itself. You don't see the entrance to the lair. Oh. But can I get a general idea of where it is in the swamp? To be able to find it again? Possibly, but it's difficult because everything looks just generally the same. But you will be able to get the general idea. Okay. Alright, um... Does anyone have anything else they want to do before we go to sleep? No. Okay. Paul? No. I'm just, um... I am... I'm just gonna sleep in here with the prisoners in case, like, one of them wakes up. Okay. Um, they returned the items they took from the mage and gave it back to her. So she has right. her stuff back. And that's about it. They give you, uh, this area right here as a sleeping quarters. Anything else? Anything else? Or are you yeah. guys gonna long um, sleep during the night? Yeah. Okay. I couldn't understand what you said, so. Anything else? You whatever they do? say. Bedtime. They give you uh, yeah. this area right here. They give you that area to sleep in. If there's nothing else, then you sleep, get a uh, full recovery, and they ask to stay out of the shaman's place because that's the shaman place. Okay, I'm just gonna skip directly to daytime in case if there's anything else. Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> I'm just, thoughts are passing through my heads, and I'm just wondering if you guys will figure this out. Okay, daytime comes. They've taken sort of the place, moved the bodies, that kind of stuff, and they're ready to go. Yeah, and you want to head back straight to the, uh, uh, fort, that's it. Yeah. Okay. The mage is bandaged and healed, but cannot use any magic or fight. That's fine. Shouldn't need to. Uh, the two warriors could fight, though. They have their gear returned. No, wait, no, they don't. And then after, from midday to up, can, uh, I don't think survival checks are needed to find your way back. 
There we go. Anything else? Anything else? Nothing I can think of. Okay, so as you're entering, you see the place, the door open. Yeah, we'll head inside. Okay. Um, I should have actually gotten it. open? Yeah, you open up and see this area up barricaded, like wood, furniture, anything just plowed up into this entrance. Where he told us to sleep? He's scared. No. You're back at the fort. Oh. And as you enter the fort, you notice a lone guard at the bottom of the stair. No, wait, he's actually on the next level, so no. You just see the entire Erica in, sh um, in shambles with this entrance blocked. Uh, that's not good. Um, this is recent damage, I guess? Yes, the mage just... Just takes note of it, and the two guards are sh looking around wordly, wondering what's going on. Yeah, this is not good. <laughs> Holy shit, the reinforcements aren't here yet. Um, so we, okay, so we get back to the tower, and, and there are... I'm sorry, can you repeat that again, please? We get back there. And you enter the place, find the entrance to the basement blocked. I'll ask him why it's blocked. Uh, the two guards down here guards don't know what's happening. They came with you. It's new damage uh, that we don't know how or why. We just arrived and there's the fort is in more shambles than when we left. And there's a barricade up, so something happened while we were gone. We don't know what, though. Um, they decided I'll walk to walk around upstairs. somewhere else at the fort and ask them what's going on. I'm gonna go upstairs see if I can find. See anyone yet, or no? You don't see anyone on, on this level. They head I'm up. Gonna, I go upstairs because I don't know what's it. Find someone who can tell me what's happening. Uh, do we hear anything? I think we should do a perception check, guys, and see if uh, we hear anything or see any tracks. Simon, uh, the place is dirty. It'd be difficult to make any kind of tracking check. And Simon just headed upstairs to see the soldiers right over here. Um, yeah, I'll head upstairs also and try to figure out. I'm just wondering why that place, that, why that area is blacked off all of a sudden. Like, could, any, could you guys tell us what's happening? Um, what I'll go with that. Back? A creature is, uh, let's see. Uh, a long time ago, the last mage was, uh, let me get this straight, uh, went out to negotiate with the lizard folk and returned as a creature of the dead. Was dead and it was a zombie, basically. They could not bring themselves to kill it, so they sealed it down into the basement. When... This was just... What? So one of your soldiers went out 
somewhere. Well, where did they go? The, the mage. previous mage. Oh, the previous mage. They can well, negotiate with the lizard folk. Came back a zombie. And, Outstanding. And they couldn't bring themselves Have to kill it. It was a friend they grew up. It was a friend of them, so they just thought it would die behind the door. But, Zomb- uh, lizard died folk, naturally. Yeah. The la- um, one of the raids from the lizard folk actually got inside, opened the door, and released it. Oh, joy. Okay. You guys are just a bundle of good decisions, aren't you? It, when it realized it was free, <laughs> so it it's came water. up. Yeah. Um, yeah. And when it was free, it came up, grabbed two of their soldiers, and took them back down, and you, they don't know what happened to it. They asked well, you for help. Well, good news. We got the prisoners back. The kobolds won't be attacking anymore. So. The mage is completely useless and does not know what's going on. Yeah, that's mean. It's not her fault her jaw got broken. She can barely speak. She's alive. It's good enough. She asked you, well, she can't really ask you, but the soldiers ask you to please deal with it. Sure. Well, looks like we're going to have to just take her out. I don't see any other option. That's, the, last, that, the last one was a male. That's fine, and it. I asked some, because we need to, we need to, I want, we need to, like, write a letter that they can deliver to the Free City about the um, Cobalt Treaty, so I'm going to ask them if one of them can write that letter while we're dealing with their problem. I got to determine exactly I, I, how many are um, there. I think we should wait for Alistan and have him handle that letter. I mean... You don't know how long he's going to be. Is that the... That's your that's your master. Oh, okay. He's the one that uh yeah, he's basically been our like our main quest giver. I'm going to send my raven to go scout around the area, um and see if uh they can either see the um mentor or um the um reinforcements yeah or or even the um thingy if they're around sneaking around the fort somewhere um uh, the zombie thing they came out of the basement yeah it's in the basement are there shirts in the basement it's 100% okay. in the basement they're not exactly okay s- well then it'll sure if it's positioned, but it'll they know look it's there then it'll look for the uh, reinforcements or um, the mentor. Uh, so. It flies around and sees nothing. Spending ten minutes to do so. Okay. While you do so, you hear banging. No, wait. No, you don't, actually. I rolled a good perception, so when we came in, I was listening for um, uh, any sounds or um, banging or fighting or anything. I was listening to try and hear what's going on or get you a clue. Don't hear anything. I got a 25. I yeah, still you nothing. don't hear anything. I rolled it when we first came in before we went up the stairs. You still don't hear anything. Okay. Um, Zombies typically don't make a lot right, of noise. I, uh, I'm going to tell them that uh, we got a dragon egg, and we're going to be giving it to someone good to raise. And um, I'm going to leave it in a secure part of the fort uh, for now. And I'm going to tell them if anyone hurts it or harms it, um, I will kill them. They just say put it like in the corner or over here, and just leave it, or just destroy it. Yeah, I'll I'll tell them if they hurt it or harm it, I will kill them horribly. Why would um, they, they're not going to do anything pain. to that egg. They don't want it freaking killing them. I'm just making sure. So, um, I will put it somewhere safe, um, out of the way. Okay. Uh, she put, agree, uh, uh, the mage agrees to look after it. Okay. 
Do you guys want to go kill a zombie? I mean, I mean, yeah. I wouldn't say want to, but just say asked. They sure really want to me. I don't want to kill a zombie, but I also don't want more people to die. Oh, you're thinking. Yeah, works for me. Um, are we assuming there's a worm in this thing and that's why it's a zombie? Uh, they do give you a description of what it looks like. A zombie-like creature with green worms crawling in its flesh. Uh, okay, I think we need to burn this thing. Um, I'm going to tell them that uh, we believe it's the worms and that their friends are probably, probably already uh, either dead or infected or both. Do they know what the worms are? No. Well, that's what I'm going to explain to them. I'm going to say anything it touched or anywhere it was, I think we should burn it to kill these things. They don't even know what you're talking about. Just say, do it. The mage does uh, does speak up, though. As limited as she can. Uh, let's see. The uh, exact knowledge I don't have on hand, but I'm pretty sure she states that uh, it uh, disease of some kind, so that might be of help to you in some way. Uh, maybe Simon's character can cure it then? Maybe. You d- it, I can, she does I know mean, it's a I zombie. Can remove, I can remove diseases, but... Yeah, if it's well, if it's a disease of some kind, maybe you can cure it or fix it. Or yeah, it's not like a normal zombie. It's in fact you're basically getting infected with the disease with the with what the worms are, and then you're turned into that creature. Um, she's not sure what kind of was, they'll have though. Was the thingy um originally killed before it started acting wonky? What? Or, like, are they sure it's dead before it became infected, or is it possibly still alive and infected? No, they're sure. The worms, they're sure that the thing, that the people were dead. There's no way they're alive once they've been turned. Okay. Um, I'm just wondering if there's any way to, to save them or cure them or fix them. As far as they're Or if we literally should just kill them. As far as they're concerned, they're basically zombies. Simon, can your can your character um, check someone's health without touching them, or do you have to touch them? Uh, you mean a heal check? Yeah. You would have to be in direct contact with them. Oh, because I went to check if it was live, but I don't want him touching it in case it can affect him, infect well, him that way. Well, he does actually have to be close, not really directly touching, but. What do you guys want to do? Kill it or what? I have already revealed the, the basement. So you guys can head down anytime. They removed the barricade. But they, as soon as you go down, they barricade it again. Alright, well, can you move? Because that, I don't know where the basement is. I'll move you. Oh, uh, there. Do you guys want to just kill it, or do you want to try and cure kill them it. first? Okay. Uh, if we don't have a means to cure them, then kill it. Well, Simon curing disease might cure it. That's I mean, why that, I ask. You know, remove disease kills parasites, but... It requires a touch. It requires a melee touch, yeah. Yeah. And there's no guarantee this is of any of this that will work. Only that yeah, this it's, is a disease. Yes, it's the... Even the spell even says that certain special things can only be can't be can't be done or can only be done at a higher level. And my highest spell level is three, so. Um. And I'm what hazard to guess that these worms are probably kind of special parasites. Yeah, it's just we have to try and find a way to cure it at some point, but I don't want to risk our group either. Well, um, pro- odds are we're going to encounter more of these things. They know, yeah. um, they know the original one, 
and three other ones. So there's a total of four. All right. All right then. So where do you want to go? Downstairs. You are. I moved your character. Downstairs. There you go. The basement. Is that a door? Where? Yes. Yeah. I'll go near that door and I. You you want to do your thing, Ezekiel? There's. Oh. Wait. What for traps? There's, there's a door. This is their basement. Oh, and, we're, you're in the basement uh, he, already. He's Mr. Paranoid Man. I assumed he would check. No, I'm not going to worry about a bean trap. All right, then. Well, do you at least want to get closer in case there's something behind this? Oh, yeah. um, they make note of the position that it most likely is, and that's where they trapped it originally. Where's the door? Oh, the door's right here? Yeah. And that's in the door that he's standing next to? Uh, or is no. it somewhere else down here? The place where they trapped it, the creature originally, was that way. Okay. Uh, yeah, over here. So behind Ezekiel. Yeah. They make it over in that direction. A closed off door. There's a door over there too, you said? There's a door there, there's a door there, there's a door all over the place. Uh, are the stairs that I'm standing on open, or is there, like, a, a wall, or, um... It's a half turn. It's a, a stairs to cover, like, half that square. Okay, so right here is some kind of, um... Right here is a wall, or just railings? A wall. Okay. Uh, is there a door opening over this way? Okay. Tell me where you want to go, and I will reveal as po as much as possible. Well, um, I think we should guys are over together. Here. There's a door over here. There's one in front of you too, but and there's, um, they said the guy was over here, and there's a door over here. So, but it's also been out since then, so it hasn't been trapped again. Um, so it could be. Well, we might as well check its original position. Well. Let's listen and see what we can hear. I rolled a 25 again. You hear nothing. Okay. Um. Spawn of chaos. How do you pronounce that? Can... Chaos. Chaos. Kais? Kai no, not Kais. It's a two syllable thing, and it's like okay, yes, okay, yes. Um, Paul, do you want to try and make a perception check or anything? See if you can hear anything. Sure, it, it might not be anything to heal here, but it doesn't hurt. 22, nothing. nothing. We don't see any blood or anything like where the things got where the two men got dragged somewhere, maybe. You see drag marks right here leading around the corner. Um, I'm going to point to the drag marks and tell you guys, nod my head this way, like, I, I think we should look here first. I'm, I'm whispering very quietly, so hopefully it won't hear me. You making, are you doing stealth? Are you doing stealth? Uh, yeah. yeah. Then roll stealth. Roll stealth. 16. Does anybody else want to do stealth? Uh, yeah, I'll give it a shot. Uh, my stealth was a 27. And let's see how badly I do. Yeah. You make a lot of noise. Do you want to use a card to reroll the letter? No. 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 See a hallway with more trail. With another trail heading. Another trail heading. Mm. That, way. that way. Stay close. Stay close, guys. Uh, is there anywhere around here or no? There's a doorway Did right there. there, were, there... And one right here. Um, 
should we? I'm gonna point to this doorway here before Simon goes down there and just make a kind of question mark with my hands, like like a little shrug and like one of those like. Eh? Do you open it? Should we look there first, or I'm gonna let Simon open it because he's wearing armor. <laughs> Yes, even though your ma with mage armor, yours is pretty good too. Hers is higher than yours when she has it full. Oh yeah, cast. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna cast the mage armor, the improved mage armor, and the shield first. That would cost two oh, I does um, I think she's close to thirty. What? If, if you cast both of those spells, your AC goes up like I think twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Mine goes to 27 when I cast Shield of Faith. Yeah. Um, I'm going to cast another spell, too. Um, I'm going to cast uh, Baylor's Nimbus, which it puts a fire on me, so anyone that tries to... Um, Grapple me, uh, takes damage, and I'm hoping that way the uh, if any worms try and touch me, they'll get burned off. How long does that last? Before they can infect me. How long does it last? Ah, uh, crap! Hold on, I have to check. Page twenty-four. Um. Actually, it's a good point. It might only be a few minutes if it don't, if it's only for one round per level. So I'll wait until we see them and then cast it. Okay. I'm gonna subtract the spell points from my sheet now, though, so I don't forget. Did you subtract the points from your uh, the two shield, the mage armor and shield? Yeah, I'm gonna do that in one second. I just was looking the other one up first. Okay. Anybody else want to go anywhere? <laughs> No, I'm going to stay here for right now. Okay. Simon, you moving anywhere? You see a barracks where people sleep. Yeah, I like to took a step in and went in. What's that thing right there on the wall? Weapon rack. Weapon? Okay. If it was a dress, I would have like opened it to see if there... But if there, there, if there doesn't seem to be anyone in, I'll start moving over this way. Okay. Um, Sammy, just to to make sure, um, I would have cast the uh, improved mage armor when we got up in the morning because it would last all day and night. So, would I have gotten any of the spell points back for that or the shield by then? Uh, when you got the news minute uh, within a minute or two ago, it would has not been enough time to pass. No, no, I'm. I mentioned it a minute or two ago because I wanted to make sure you knew it was on me. I'm saying I would have cast it in the morning when I got up. It would have. Would I have gotten off. any of the points by now? It would have despelled for the you. improved armor. It lasts one hour, one hour per level. You. It took around eight hours to get back. Oh, okay. Then I would have cast it. Um, yeah. If it were off by then, I would have cast it when we saw the barricade mill. So. I guess that would have been like what twenty minutes, fifteen, not even, because we talked to them and came right down. So uh, within five minutes, you came down. Yeah. So okay, then I I wouldn't have it back yet. Never mind. No. Yeah. That's... I thought the improved mage armor lasted longer. That's uh, one round per. I mean, one round per level. That's still one hour. Still pretty. Yeah. It's still pretty good. Same as uh, normal mage armor, just more. Protection. Okay. Do you continue heading down this hallway? Tracks yeah. This way? Yeah. That room is clear? Do you see yeah, it? We... Just barracks. Okay. Can we shut and lock the door before we continue on so that it can't retreat in there? Why? You don't have any keys. Just... 
Huh? You don't no, uh, I'm asking if Paul can lock it. Or at least shut it. At the very least. Yeah. You could try a uh, uh, lock check. Reverse open lock. Huh? So, uh, it's even way to just lock the door, right? You don't have any keys. Yeah, I want you to shut it and lock it so it can't go in there um, and surprise us. If it is not, if they aren't all down this hallway. And I will take a piece of chalk and put it. I'll use my tools to lock the door. Since I don't have a key, I got a. I rolled pretty high. I got a 17 and 18, so 35. You're pretty sure you locked it. Why you don't know? I will put an X on the door with a piece of the chalk Actually, so that I don't we know think it's safe. Is, now that I think about it, I don't know if that room even has a lock. You made a lock. That's how good it's it is. It's got a door, I'm assuming it's got a lock. Not all doors have locks. Check was so good, it, he made it lock somehow. Well, usually um, sleeping quarters have locks. That's why I'm, I'm saying if it has a door, it probably does lock. Because mm. it's a sleeping quarters. Yeah, I, there's no mention of any kind of locks anywhere for this place. So, I'm assuming there's none. Because if anybody intruders um, got in this far, locks would be meaningless. Then I will take a um, coin and wedge it in the, uh, the hinges of the door so it can't be opened. Do you want me to roll something for it, or...? I don't even know how that would work. Um, Mike usually lets me do it, um, and I forget what he has me roll, if it's disabled device, or... Um, you want to disable the door? Yeah. Uh, it, it's actually a really useful thing to do. I do it with a lot of different characters. If you take a coin... Oh, you um, can, you, and if you want to make dis disabled device, you can make it a disabled device check. Please be aware that yeah, this is a friendly barracks, and they will be angry if you disable their door. It's not like it's a hard thing to take out when you use tools. I mean, it takes, a, a, you know, like 15, 20 minutes, but... So it's possible to undo the damage, but... Because you, you're wedging a coin in there, which the bad guys can't easily open it, but you can get it out easily with tools. So. Oh, it would still be easy to open. Just break I mean, it in half. I mean, uh, whatever we do, considering we made peace with the kobolds and are now clearing out their weird zombie infestation, I think they can deal with whatever we do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just break open the door if it's stuck. Far simpler check. Uh, 14? You disabled the door. Now they have to break it open. Well, if they have pliers, I can fix it later. It's not hard to do. I'm sure the blacksmith can do it without any problem. Oh, they'll just, just, they'll just take the part of the door and just refix it. So, um, it's not like I'm melting the coin in there. I'm just wedging it yeah. in to make sure it can't be opened. And while that um, happens, uh, while you're doing that, Simon sees a zombie walk out from a doorway. All right. And initiates uh, the initiative. Visual. Well, I would have been right there next to the door, so. Yeah. Um, I have visual, guys. Everyone, you know what Roll. to do. I'm just wondering why um, you felt the need. Just to make sure it can't go in there and surprise us, because we still have two others to, pardon me, hiccup, locate. So, Did if you? there's one... It's like it's like Ezekiel searching every door and chest he finds. No harm in being safe. No, there's no point. There's no real harm. Uh, is this a doorway here too, or no? Yes. Okay. Um. It is currently now his turn. Go, Simon. I. Yay! I get to move first. Actually, I was gonna say, can I have a motion to Simon to um? come back down the hallway and we'll fight it from over here where Ezekiel can hit it with his bow because technically we hadn't engaged yet. The moment uh, it appeared it uh, initiated combat. Yeah. You can still just go backwards. Just go and just... backwards. Actually, actually, no. What, 
when I see it, what my first instinct be? It's undead. Yeah, uh, you're pretty sure it's undead. You're pretty sure it's undead. Well, I'm going to turn it. Good idea. It's a DC 22. I'm trying to find... Oh, there it is. Uh... How long... What's the radius of that? 30 feet. You hit every single one of them. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> um, what's the DC? Oh, wait. 20. I have a crit. Can, can't crit can you... You oh, can't, you can't crit save. So the DC is coincidentally the same as my damage. Okay, one saves. That's so weird. My damage equaled the DC. How is that possible? Oh, wait, no. I, my charisma is 5 now, so it's actually a DC 23. I have a card. Does that matter? Uh, yes, all fail. <laughs> yeah, I forgot I got that sweet cape. I have a card I don't understand, and I got two of them. What, are, what um, is it? Well, I'm wondering if we could have used it, if it would have helped you. Uh, intuition, you and your allies can roll initiative and act in the next surprise round. No uh, that, that, that only ma that matters if like some guys try to sneak attack us. Oh, okay. We I didn't know roll, that. so maybe we could act before them so they wouldn't get like twenty fucking damage off us. Yeah, these things oh, just walk okay. into view and you clearly saw it. It's going to attack you. I don't think they're cap I don't yeah, think yeah. the dead things are capable of being stealthy. No, they can. They're just yeah. I didn't know if it was. I, I didn't know if the card let you use the next round as a surprise round, or if it was no, if, um, they, right, what it, they, how it worked. So, if like some guys try to like stab us in our sleep, that's a surprise round that lets us roll initiative. Then instead of just being stabbed, okay, yeah, which right. I haven't seen happen too often in the games I've played. <laughs> uh, is it my turn? Are you done or no? Yeah, I, I did twenty-two damage to everybody. Um, I will ask you if you've got this or if you need help, because I can't really get there without going past you. And I'm, I kind of want to check this door here just to be safe. Simon? I mean, I mean, they ha they haven't even attacked, started attacking me, so I, not, I, it, I think I have this, but I'm not sure. I haven't even been, they haven't even tried attacking me. I'm not sure what they can do. Uh, I'm going to tell you not to go past this other door here um, until we make sure there's nothing else in there. Just uh, I'm. I'm letting it come to me. Okay. I, I don't think there is anything in that one, but just because all the drag marks go to the back, but just to be safe. Yeah. Because um, we don't know if they wandered after it got turned. Um, I will come check this door real quick. Okay. Uh, and if there's anything in there, I'm going to slam the door immediately and hold it shut. <laughs> you find nothing in the room. Okay. Um, <laughs> then it's hilarious. I will close and um, wedge the door shut with another coin. You uh, a move a, a part of your move action. You can open a doors. That would count to you opening the door and checking the room. A standard action. Is okay. To close the door. I will close the door then. Um, I'm not because unless hide. Simon moves back, I can't really shoot it. Uh, unless he moves forward or back, I can't do it's anything. Turn. So it just walks straight up there. Can it do that with the turn undead? What? Can it do that with the turn undead that he did? Doesn't I it push it back? Or? Turn undead just kills it. 
does damage. It's a variant roll. You can either do damage or actually turn and just making them go away from you isn't the most useful. Can everyone uh, make me okay. a DC can everyone make me a will save? Everyone? Yes. Even Ezekiel wherever he is. Yes. Another room okay. over still. Where did your cousin go? Yeah, she probably move over, huh? I rolled that's kinda <laughs> low actually. For real for me. Uh, 34. 18. All of you pass. Yay! Let me see. This is pretty good. What was your save. plus to your will save, Ezekiel? I mean, Paul? Plus to what? What was your plus to your will save? The modifier. Uh, 6. I mean, that 18 included the plus 4 from uh, the Paladin, unless I don't get that, in which case I only got a 14. Uh, no, this is a fear. So yeah, it might affect me. Do we? Well, no, we should get a plus two the paladin, shouldn't we? You get plus two versus enchantment spells, but the plus four is if it's a potion effect. Oh, in that case I got a 16. And my elf good. racial, so it's still 18 anyways. Wait, why do you get the plus racial? Because I'm an elf. Because we're resistant. Elves are resistant to anything that is considered a mind affecting ability. Oh. Because we are special. So I get like two racial and two more from his uh, aura. Yeah, this is uh, mind affecting, I'd say. So, yeah, so I rolled a six, but and with, or I rolled an eight, got a plus six, and I got the four additional, so I got an 18 still. Okay. Yeah, it, it passes. A 14 was all was needed. And now it tries to... Did you guys see what my will save bonus was or something? Yeah, I was curious uh, about it because... That's plus uh, six. Yeah. they. Everyone basically, except for you, needs a one to fail. That's how bad... How much high... How high it is. Okay. Does a 19 touch hit you, Is he, um Yes. Okay, so I have to check what this does. Don't have very high touch. You're asking Simon's character because you said Ezekiel. Okay, so one of the worms on the creature just jumps on you. No! Yeah. Gross. Go for the woman instead. We don't want her. Another one appears. Does it actually have line of sight? Yeah, it kind of does, so it's going to target you. The freak! Uh, that's weird. Apparently something I have set up does not work. <coughs> and I don't know what's wrong. Okay, let's try this and see if it works. Because otherwise I don't know what's happening. Better work now, or I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> That's the wrong. Okay, it works now. Don't know what was wrong with it. Okay, I don't think a four touches. Oh, no, that does not touch. Oh well. A uh, third one comes around. And does another range touch. No, that does not hit. A fourth one comes. And just throws... Uh, does a 14 touch hit you? Yes. Okay, you have two worms on you now. No! 
Ezekiel, your move. Disgusting. You over left, you're like, you're gonna die, dude. It's gonna be fucking awesome. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna kill you first, then. You have two worms currently outside your body. Alright, I'm going to... Alright, and go to here. I'm gonna shoot the actual zombie itself and not the worm. Isn't that a wall? That goes through a, a door. Huh? That's a doorway. Okay. You cannot physically go there because Ember's currently blocking it. Is the door open? No, she's holding it closed. That's kind of a wall. So right there. He, he's all by himself in there? That part's, that part's a wall, so... He's... he's. That's not a door, that's... You can he's, still aim at them. You just get um, half I just covered. close the door. It's empty. You can go past me, but there's no way to get to there without him backing up. That's why I said unless he moves, you I, can't I, I, really... I'm using, I'm, get it anywhere. I'm using a ranged weapon now. I need to get past them. You can aim at them, but it's, them, but it's half cover. So I can't go in here and aim at them? It's no, that's there's a wall. wall. Oh, it's a wall. Okay. Yeah, gotcha. there's a wall. There. The only... Right here is the passage. That's it. This is an empty room here. I just closed the door. You also distinctly remember there's a pathway around this way. Oh, you can go that way? Yes. Get in there? Oh. Well, five, ten. I'll take a step back, then move up and shoot the front zombie. With one of my serpent tongue arrows, so it'll do slashing damage. I got a regular twenty to hit it. Okay. Does regular twenty hit the zombie? Uh yeah, even with the yeah. plus five to um cover bonus. Did you go this way? Because it doesn't cover, show that you cover is either, cover. Cover is either 2, 4, 8, Sammy. What? Cover is either 2, 4, 8. I thought half cover gave you 5. No, half cover gives you 4. Half cover. Either way, it doesn't matter. It's... Okay. So that plus 8 gives me... Uh, I should go pretty well. So 8. Nine is seventeen plus six, twenty-three damage from a arrow from one of my serpent turning arrows that does slashing damage. Okay. It's also with piercing, so I'll buy it back to the DR. Uh, uh, what? What? How much damage? Slashing damage. Slashing. Uh, twenty-three total. Okay. It's dead. Okay. Nice. That's what I like to see. You had. Uh, there's, it would, it, you would need like a damage reduction 15 to stop that. Uh, Simon, it's your move. Uh, you skipped me. No, you went. You opened the I didn't door. get to do anything. You opened that door. Oh, I thought we were on a new... I thought we had already gone on a new turnaround last time. Never mind, no. sorry. You go next. It was the zombies took a while. Sorry, I didn't realize that. Yeah, they took a while. Yeah. Would it take anything for me to, like, brush the worms off me or something? If you want to attack them, you can attack them. They are clearly on your skin. You can just wipe them off if you so wish to. <laughs> Um, so what do you want to do? Let's see. They're just uh, on my arm or something right now. Yes, they're currently crawling on you. I can burn that off if you want. Yeah. Also, the my thinking is like my thinking is if I just do that, you do something, but then they. The zombies are still there, and you can get another worm on them. But oh, you could always just uh kill the zombies. Have your yeah, that's take the, care of them. that's what I was gonna do. DC, roll, make me a DC twenty three. We'll say, please. Can you roll damage, please. I rolled it. If I don't you... know how it rolled like that. Ignore them. If he does a turn undead, will that kill the worms too, or no? Sixteen. Okay, so 
they actually can survive this. What did you do? Okay, yeah, so... I don't kind of... Oh, um, three one. Simon, what did you do? You fuzzed out Turn on the dead. Okay. Okay, so the worms, you can okay, tell, just disintegrated. And that thing's barely it's alive. They killed the worms as well, which is good to know for future reference. Yeah, definitely. Actually, would it? I don't think actually it affects the worms. Yeah, like that. I'm like that seems very seems like very convenient that that it would kill the worms as well. Uh, well, if no. they're no, if the worms. Undead, uh, I would just read a bit, and the worms don't seem to be affected. Okay, well, at least we know something that doesn't work. Also, there's just one, so if you don't mind taking care of that last one. Can I clarify the exact effect of your ability? Of turn undead? Yeah. It's turn undead. All, all, tre- all undead creatures. All tre- undead creatures that... Zom- zombies, rays, spirits, everything that's... Okay. So, what is, uh, I got the general gist of it. So, these things aren't undead, so they aren't affected. Yeah, I, did, I didn't think so. I'm like, that's very convenient, and your game, your game is fucked if that can, if your game is fucked if Turn Undead works. But uh, it's currently Ember's turn. Yes, and like you mind, you mind taking care of that last that last guy? He's he should almost be down. <laughs> uh, yeah, I will. Uh, I can't hit it unless I move up past you, right? Or no? Yeah, well, you can do that, no problem. Okay. You don't yeah, you need have... anything special to move past allies. Yeah. Um I guess I'll do a magic missile. It's dead. Deduct the points. Just cast a spell. All three hit and he's a splatter on the wall behind him. Uh that might be not safe. Uh, I wouldn't touch that. Maybe we should set it on fire or something. Yeah, well we'll deal with that. In a bit, in a sec. You might want to get the worms off you and step on them or something. Yeah, I'll get uh, the wor- you guys can't take any more actions because the worms turn. They crawl oh, inside geez. your flesh. Oh jeez. Oh god. No. You might want to cut off that part and we'll get it regrown or healed or something. They are currently inside his chest. Oh, what the fuck? Well, Wait, if they're a chest. disease, he's immune to a disease. He's immune to disease because he's a paladin. Yes, he is. Is he immune to magical disease? Yes, he's yep. immune. He's, he is immune to every disease that the Indies ever created. That's like the, one of the best things about a paladin. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's pretty <laughs> fine. Yeah, the doesn't it doesn't specify like you're immune to. D- Regular diseases, no. I'm divine health. I'm immune to all diseases. I'm the most healthy person that's ever lived. You may be immune to this effect. I mean, I think monks get arm get immune to. They get normal diseases. Um, they yeah, they're not super. I'm like monks are immune to some diseases. Okay. I remember. Divine yeah, health. regular regular. It's, it's natural. A paladin gains immunity to all diseases, including supernatural and magical diseases. This is, this is considered a disease. Another, another re- uh, Yeah. <laughs> I did not see this coming. So, after another the- re- What? That's what I decided to do, turn on dead. I was strolling through. I'm like, oh, I'm just, okay, that works for me. Okay, just- so... After a full round, these things crawl out of your flesh and just fall onto the ground. Dying. Step on them! Yay! Let's have all worms go to me. I'll kill them. 
<laughs> You're my... immune to this effect. <laughs> I'm going to tell you to make sure you step on them or something, because, yeah. I mean, I, I will squish them just to be sure, but yeah. Uh, These things, as far as I can tell, are considered... Actually, I don't think they I don't think they can turn you, but I still think they... Eh, they might not. I don't know. It says they can't could... be destroyed by removed disease. It Yeah, they can't do anything to him he's immune to it and um, yeah, they're not smart enough not to so i'll just yeah they're not smart enough you guys i'll get... just have every worm ever attack me yeah we'll just have die. to make sure that you're the body between us and the zombies oh they'll eventually figure it out <laughs> no they're not smart enough it's i'll take however many worms i can kill Unless there's something controlling the worms that can order them to avoid him, they're just going to go for the closest body. Okay, so, so as long 12, as we make sure he's between us and the worms, we're good. 1,200 experience from that fight. Yay! Those, those guys were worth wow. They were four level five creatures. Well, they're four level dead. Yes, so. they are. 1,200? Yeah, we're two twenty thousand. 360 is what I have. I'm pretty sure yeah. you guys are close to 7th level. Yeah, we are. Yeah, 21,000 is 7th. The mage, after all this settles down, asks um, ask you to burn everything. I mean, all the corpses and everything. And asks yeah. you to well, fix the door. I will, um... I mean, I think burning is a li more important than the door, so do let's do that yeah. first. Uh, do you want to, uh, can, can you burn them with some kind of holy fire or, and not like set the rest of the building on fire? Because if I do any kind of fire, I will burn down This place is made a lot. completely of stone. Yeah, but everything in all the rooms will catch fire and even stone can, can um, collapse and be yeah, destroyed by fire. You could throw them it in the tunnel right the water here and the stone. burn them there. Really, I can only remove disease once a week. Because huh. all the doors here are gonna be. Um, well, I think it is. So once a week is. A, I mean, I guess it's the best future. That's do they best. want us to burn everywhere the thing touched, or do you want us to just uh, destroy the bodies? What? Do they want us to destroy everything the things, or to burn everything that the things touched, or just destroy the bodies? Destroy the bodies. Okay, um, I'm going to suggest we use some, um, to, that we soak the doors in water, uh, close them, and then just, uh, pour some oil on the bodies and set it on fire. They're, they haven't really touched anything besides the barricade. Yeah. Plus it's the worms that are the main concern. So long as those are Any destroyed. objection to the suggestion, or no? And that's on me. Simon? How's your character feel? I feel great. <laughs> I, feel I meant what I suggested. I can't believe about, it's about, about what I see. I mean, I mean, it's stone. Okay. There's no. Uh, I just found out the I just want to make sure everyone was okay with using oil and regular fire. Um, OP Paladin. <laughs> and They're I, really good for dealing with undead stuff. I get a free remove and evil stuff actually. I get a free remove disease once a week, so if someone else gets infected, I can help you with that. He's immune to these things, and he basically one shot, one, shot. one KO these things. <laughs> Maybe we should just uh, have Simon strip down and and roll down the hallway, and any remaining worms will die. <laughs> <laughs> they can't survive a single round outside of a host. They're all dead. Paladin barrel? What? <laughs> That's a very weird weapon. I mean, it's D and it's D and D. You can do anything. Well, we'll we'll do what they suggested and and burn the bodies. So, uh, all right. Anything else? Yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, force me to make a new character because holy shit. <laughs> Why are you making a new character? <laughs> He's just joking. No, I was joking saying it's going to make me re-roll because He's I don't care. the mod just by existing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just reading something else. This thing had another ability. Pound's immune to it. <laughs> What's the other ability then? Uh, a gift. It's it's called cut. Um, the gift. Uh, the gift of the creature. I don't know how to pronounce its name. The gift of the Kais. Uh, Kais's gift is what it's called, and it's a supernatural disease. <laughs> you're immune uh... to this, so <laughs> you're immune to this guy. The mere existence of this creature cannot be tolerate your existence. Oops, shit. Sorry, I hit the <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, I, I, got, I gotta tell my other D&D Drew about this. This is amazing. I'm tempted to give you a point one experience boost just for that. Hey. <laughs> he single-handedly killed these things. They should have killed him, but no, they, he kills them by mere existence. Hey, Paul and I helped. <laughs> no, you didn't. If by, if by Paul and I helped, helped you mean Paul, if, you, if by Paul and I helped you mean Paul helped, then yes, I agree. I shot the last one and killed it. No, good job. And I made sure that Sammy wasn't going to get attacked from behind. I checked the other room. I did a will did save. A will if that even if that thing that um, Paul didn't kill it, it would still would have died. died. Only one had any chance of survival, and it had one health. Nice. <laughs> He, uh, Simon basically <laughs> conquered these things <laughs> by existing. Paladins <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are really great for undead stuff and evil stuff. Yeah, Paladin will kill anything undead. His existence kills everything undead. So, um, is there anything else they want us to do, or no? Or do you want to call it for the night? Fix the door. I fixed the door. I said I took some pliers and I went to fix the door after we burned the bodies. Okay, you burned the bodies, fixed the door, and did you? T and I assume you tell them uh, you made the treaty. Uh, we didn't make the treaty. We just said we would do our best to help with it and that we would let the uh, two groups talk to each other and uh, make one. Okay, so, but you so still basically we, we made sure inform them and we're gonna make sure both sides we're agree. Sure both sides agree. But, yeah. But, and yeah. tell them not to expand and anymore. Not to, expand anymore. Not to trespass in the other creature's land. Okay, so you spend the rest and we'll continue off in the next time when we'll complete the last tiny bit of this chapter. Or do you want to finish it up this time? I'm good. It's fine with me. I don't care. Okay. So, uh, we have until 9, so it's up to you. 9 okay. Eastern Standard Time. I forget where you are. It's about 8 o'clock. Okay, yeah, that's the end for us. So, the next morning after you rest, around midday, you see reinforcements arrive. Uh, is the other wizard with them or no? Uh, your master? No, he is not. When the uh, officers arrive, well, the reinforcements arrive, they ask to speak, ask to try and understand what was happening. I have to find exactly what's here. Uh, here it is. Um, they uh, do, you do not see Alliston with you, except the, com the commander does give you a notice telling you. He stayed behind at Diamond Lake, and he wishes to speak with Marzina. Is that the mage we saved? Yes. Okay. Stay behind the free city and send someone else. No, he's at Diamond Lake. The Diamond Lake. That's what I meant. Yeah. Yeah. That's her name. Yeah, I think that's right, Marzina. <laughs> Might be Marzena. Okay, so they asked you to bring her to him in Diamond Lake. 
she also yeah, we can escort. would like escort there. Like escort there. Yeah, it's fine. All right then. Uh, about two days later, you arrive back at home. You meet up with Alliston, and these two mages converse and talk over. However, the conclusion is nothing new, only reaffirming everything. But they do tell you of the increasing number of these worms is concerning. Yeah, we weren't too happy with it either. But all you have to do is feed a pallet into them and they die just like that. that My character that. snaps if you he didn't hear that. How much do you much tell do you him? Uh, all of it? Okay, so you give a general idea of what is happening and what he knows, <laughs> what you know. He does not like what's happening and is growing concerned that some plot is going to um, do a lot of damage to the world or something. He directs you to a friend in Free City called, no wait, yeah, an old friend in Free City, a sage named Eculos, who knows a great deal about these strange monsters. <laughs> Which is where we'll continue where next we'll continue time. Yes. yes. Okay. Or just literally everyone class change to have them. We'll be good. Yeah. Nah, I'm good. I'd rather take my character. Also, next time he makes note that the treaty can be... Um, that's a good time to set up a treaty for the lizard folk. Yeah. I'll speak on their behalf. They're, they're, they're good people once they stop trying to kill us. But, oh my god, that was just... Why? They should have taken this into account. Well, yeah. they have... Like, they, all creatures have some kind of weakness, so... These things are... They can't can't affect somebody's immune to all diseases, so... It's, uh, it's not even... Like, if this was a homebrew thing, maybe... No, but they can, but this is a, like, base class feature that just makes they one... They can hurt them in other ways, though. Yeah, and... Just it's not like he's that, entirely immune to everything. Oh no, it's not that I'm immune to everything, but the fact that one of their special things is completely negated by a like base class that they overlook that is a bit crazy. Well, it's actually pretty well, well because the disease is basically the only thing they have going for them. Their attacks are shit, and they have no other things else going for them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if they can't infect you with the disease, these things might as well be half level. I mean, uh, half of CR level. Meh. There's, I mean, there's other places that, or other creatures that have similar issues, so. Yeah, I mean, but There's always something to counterbalance stuff, because that disease is, like, uber by itself, so. True, but the one thing about it is... If everyone was a paladin in this, hypothetically speaking, if everyone in the campaign was a paladin, you could easily breeze through this campaign because of the simple fact that this is the main point of the campaign. Say that, but that's not true. I mean, just because we're immune, just because we're immune. Paul's head. Yeah, there's, I mean, there's, a lot there's of plenty of stuff I can do. But yeah, have trap binding, but have true spell casting. Um, we wouldn't have any, like, real healing. I mean, yeah, we'd be immune disease, but that's not like we can really give you very one true point that's not going to last forever. Okay. Yeah, all, all, that mean, all that means is I solidified my position as tank. That was OP. Paladin gets an award. As what? You solidified yourself as the taint or the tank? The tank. That's what I just heard, taint. I was like, wait a minute, what? I said tank. I don't know what, oh, I don't know what Freudian oh. thing you guys got going for I you. I thought you said taint. I thought that was pretty cool, but I don't know, maybe. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I am ta- I mean, to the worms, I am the taint, I, I guess. Running there with your ass backward? I, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm not sure what's going on, but that, that was pretty funny nonetheless. Oh, God. I mean, you can believe what you want. It's just... It's, 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 I am Groot. You just walk around saying, I am taint. <laughs> Around, painting around your eyes and, um, <laughs> well, if it makes you feel better, I was thinking taint like evil, not that other one. But That's, you know, I mean, that... oh, bullshit on that. But I, no, I, mean, I really don't... was thinking that. That's why I was like, wait, he's holy. That's how he killed the worms. Why is he calling himself tainted? I mean, I, like, That's yeah. weird. I mean, 
I mean, I, I mean, to the worms, I am the t- their taint. I'm evil to them. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the harbor, and I'm the death. Yes, you are. <laughs> I just say, uh, hey, I, I have more things I can hug now. I can just go up to a. I can just find the nest of worms, give them a big hug. You're just gonna start hugging all the zombies. <laughs> give them a cure of minor I, wounds. I, I, and people and say, I am your taint, and then give them a big hug. <laughs> oh my god, god. <laughs> You started it, I'm just... I wanna see this. He just goes up to a zombie and just gives it a hug. <laughs> I mean that is what I would do to this. if I didn't do if I didn't do turn undead. That is what I would do is hug them and cure wounds on them. Well, if we're done for now, I'm gonna go do some stuff before I have the other game tonight. So. All right. See you all next week. See you guys next week. Yeah. Uh.